You probably see all these functional trainers talking about doing a handstand, but nobody shows you the easy way to get into your first handstand. Well, guess what? In this video, I'm gonna teach you it. Hey, what's going on guys? Tyler here from GarageWarrior.com and if you wanna learn how to kick up and do a handstand against a wall, then this is by far the safest and most pain-free way to do it. Okay, because I've coached a lot of people. I remember the first time I coached someone to do a handstand, I was so dumb. I was so I was just like, kick up into a handstand, I'll hold your legs. But it doesn't work like that. People need to learn how to be in a vertical position first, then they need to progress through a range of motion second before they can get to the perfect handstand position against a wall. So I'm gonna teach you this pain-free method right now. So make sure to watch this whole video that you can get this thing down. And if you're a trainer or a coach, use this with your clients because it's really the safest way to do it. All right, here we go. First things first, you need something nice and soft, a blanket to put your head down on. You're gonna bring that down to the ground. All you're gonna do is bring your head about six inches away from the wall, your hands into a tripod, and the first thing you're gonna do is get used to an upside down position. So you're pressing your hands on the ground, never relax your arms. You're always going to be pressing your hands and fingers into the ground, okay? From here, head down, and you're just gonna get used to this position. Pressing your hands to the ground, your abs should be going crazy, okay? Once you get used to holding that position, which means like, hey, you should be, relatively comfortable in it. You should be able to hold it for 60 seconds. Then we start working on kicking up against a wall, okay? Again, never let the hands relax, okay? Never let the arms relax. So here, I'm in the same position. From here, I'm just gonna do a couple of these. One, two, each time a little higher. And on the third one, I want you to press super hard into this left leg, super hard into your arms, boom. Even if you feel like you're gonna blow a hole through the wall behind you and come into a headstand position. And all you're gonna work on is that right there. Coming down safely, Kicking back up. And you can try to figure out which side works better for you, right? Some people it's the right side kicking up. Some people it's the left side kicking up. Once you are 100% comfortable with a headstand against the wall, here's the magic. We're gonna progress using a range of motion progression. So it looks like this. Put a block down, four inches, whatever, it doesn't matter, phone books, you can use anything to increase the height. Bring your head back to the same position. Your arms slightly closer to your head on this one. Head down. Same position. One, two, remember go for broke. Boom. See how my arms are closer to a handstand? Work on this and keep working on this until you master this position. All right? From there, same deal. Add another step. Put your block back down. Repeat. One, two, three. Kick up. You can see I'm getting closer to that handstand, right? Master that. Go to here. One, two, three. Kick up, all right? Same exact deal. Lock those arms out. Remember, the arms never relax. We're getting close to that lockout position. Kick up. You see I'm almost in a handstand now, all right? So for me, my length of arms, about 12 inches does it, okay? And from that position where you're almost in a handstand, where your head is on there, you wanna put all of the pressure on your hands. All right, so the last kick up, after you mastered that with the head there, you wanna put all the pressure on your hands with your head still here. So be comfortable here, but look, see how my head is hovering. You probably barely see it. Hovering a half inch above there. So I know I can just go like this if I want to, pressing it in the hands, and I do the same thing. One, two, remember go for broke. Go for broke, even if you think you're gonna break the wall behind you, boom. And my head is floating, and I am now in a handstand against the wall. Pain-free, fastest way to do it. Once you get comfortable, we take all those tools away. We visualize the exact same thing. One, two, three, handstand. And that, my friends, is the best way to learn how to kick up and to handstand against the wall. If you guys dig it, join the Garage Warrior YouTube channel by clicking that link right there so you can watch more videos like this where I teach you how to look, feel, and perform your best. Thanks for watching.